everybody, this is Joseph with the Flying Pigeon Bike Shop. We're here at the shop today doing a little bit of crafting and I'm going to show you what we've got in stock in the shop. I'm pointing the camera at uh, our setup of some of our dynamo headlamps and taillights. We just got some new Oxa um, HR power control dyna sidewall dynamos for the left sides of bicycles as well as some nice dynamo taillights, battery headlights, and then here's our dynamo headlight selection. Um, these are really nice when you're riding at night in the city in the wintertime and you don't want to have to worry about batteries ever again. Right next to that are some canteens. Uh, but that's something that uh, I figured would be interesting to folks out there in commuter land. Anybody looking to slap a dynamo set on? I think our cheapest setup would be in the 50 to $70 range for a really nice dynamo headlight and a dynamo. You could add an extra 20 bucks for a really good taillight and we'd be happy to do the wiring for you as well. Up here on the wall, we've got some brand new Thule pack and pedal racks. These are great racks for a bike that you're going to be carrying a lot of cargo on that doesn't have any uh, brazons, uh, holes for a rack, to, a traditional rack to be mounted to it. Those start at uh, $70, $80. Um, in the shop, what do we have? What do we have? I've got a used Gazelle Sparta, sorry, used Sparta um, Delphi. This is a seven speed. I disassembled it, reassembled it. Um, asking, I think it's $900. The chain's brand new, the tires are brand new, the hub's been rebuilt, uh, the roller brakes are replaced with very powerful IM70s from Shimano. The dynamo setup works, the brakes work. It's a really sweet bike for someone who is like six foot four, six foot three, or above. Next to that is a $300 used men's. Uh, this isn't, this is an old Raleigh. Uh, a friend of mine worked on this and we're, we're selling it for 300 bucks. It's a pretty sweet bike. It's not all, it's not stock, but it is a very traditional bike. Very comfortable, good looking, and uh, works like a charm. And then next to that is a Women's Gazelle Tour Populaire T3, 57 centimeter frame. This one has a GMG baby seat on the back, the 911 model. And uh, this is also a used bike. Normally these bikes are $1,549. This one is being sold for, I believe, $1,100. And I think that includes the baby seat as well. Next to that is a, a used Motobacon Jury. It's custom. It's a custom bike. It came orange from the factory. It's a 59 centimeter. It's got a track wheel set. We stuck some Brooks bar tape, brand new B17, new seat post, a um, couple of road levers, and some Tektro R559 brake levers. This has got um, Schwab Marathons on it. This bike is set up with a 4419 gear ratio, and it is ideally suited for a tall guy, someone who's like 6'2", 6'1", and up, looking for a very well built chromoly. Uh, fixed gear frame they can commute within the city. So it's got plenty of room and uh, eyelets for fenders and racks. This one's set up right now without it because, hey, it's LA. Um, it's a really comfortable bike. I rode it around. I'm not 6'1", uh, and I also really liked it. Uh, the new brake setup's been a good, good addition to that. There's our fancy flying pigeon. And then over here is a retrofitted, not retrofitted, but a repaired men's um, Gazelle Tour Populaire T3. This bike has been extensively cleaned and polished. It's going for uh, $1,400 with those nice shiny Brooks accessories. This is normally $1,549, but in this condition, some slight cosmetic damage, and then with the brand new Brooks stuff, it's almost close to retail. Next to that is a 24 and a half inch Pashley Men's Roadster Sovereign. Here we've got a ladies Roadster Sovereign. This is the 22 inch frame size, the biggest size that they do for women, and next to that, is a little green one, and this is already sold. Sorry, ladies the, or men. This is the small Pashley Princess Sovereign in um, Army Green. We've got to deliver that bike. But uh, we've got a few more coming to L.A. soon. Uh, there's a Men's Roadster 8, Linus uh, Large in dark blue, and a Dutchie 3 in cream. And this is a small size. You can see the seat post is jacked all the way up. Up in the window here, it might be hard to see because of the backlighting. Maybe that's better. <laughs> it's a scraped-up little Raleigh Sport from 1975. Uh, the hub said 74, and I looked in the catalog, it's definitely a 75. It's 19 and a half inches tall. Uh, this bike I disassembled, took down to the, well, I just completely rebuilt it, really. Um, shined everything up that I could shine up. I didn't do anything to the paint because I wanted to keep it looking with that nice old patina. Uh, the rear hub is a Sturmy Archer. This is the, uh, not the AW, sorry, it's the S3C. This is the Sturmy Archer's response response to the consumer world after the disastrous TWC fiasco of the late 60s, early 70s. We had a few fiascos here in this country, and they had a few fiascos with hubs in England at the time as well. Uh, this rear wheel, um, I disassembled it, cleaned all the parts, um, and then re-oiled it with some Philwood Tenacious Oil. Um, and then this rear wheel has been rebuilt with brand new spokes as well. So these are straight gauge stainless DT Swiss spokes, all brought up to tension. 
The bottom bracket's been re rebuilt. New cotters. The chain I kept, it was barely used at all. New brakes, new cables, new tires. Uh, hub's been rebuilt. Headset's been rebuilt. Um, new Sturmy Archer shifter. And then we're throwing in a, I don't know if you can see this, this is a Brooks B68S. Uh, it's all part of the package. I'm asking like 450 for this little this little bike, and it's ready for another 40, 50 years of riding at this point. Uh, you need to change the tires out some sometime in that period, but uh, yeah, man, this thing went from 75 till now, and I think it'll ready to go to 2050 easy. We've got, of course, we're a Brompton dealer. We've just taken a few orders for Bromptons this week, and uh, I think they're up to like a seven, eight week wait time right now with us. We've got like, cool accessories, some baskets, a little Linus Roadster up here on the wall, a ton of helmets from Burn, cool Cardiff grips. Uh, that's about it. There's a couple other things I'm working on in the back of the shop. These will be going up for sale used soon too. This little 20 inch used bike I'm going to totally redo. This cool little folding Italian frame, the Amica. It's going to be a sweet ride when it's done. Got to get the parts blaster working though. And uh, that's about it. I'll get to work on this old Bendix. Got my lovely assistant here working on her necklace collection. Alright folks, I know this is a long video. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.